We're asked to use long division to find the quotient. We have a four digit number divided by a two digit number. For this example, instead of using the traditional long division algorithm, we'll be using the method of partial quotients. The first step is to write the quotient in long division form, which is this form here. So we can write this quotient as 2,465 divided by 29. When we keep our work organized, we'll draw a vertical line to the right of our division problem here. We'll record the partial quotients on the right side. Before we begin, though, it's helpful to find products involving the divisor, or in this case, products involving 29. For example, we know that 1 times 29 equals 29, but because our dividend is in the thousands, we do want to find larger products. So because 1 times 29 equals 29, we should be able to recognize that 10 times 29 would be equal to 290. And then from here, 2 times 29 would be equal to 29 plus 29, or 58. And therefore, 20 times 29 is equal to 580. But we still want to find at least one product that's in the thousands, or a product that's close to our dividend. So let's see. Let's see if we can determine 5 times 29. Well, if we needed to, 5 times 29 is the same as 29 times 5. So we'd have 45 perform an exchange with a 4. 5 times 2 plus 4 is 14. So 5 times 29 is equal to 145, which means 50 times 29 would be equal to 1,450. So I think these products will be all that we need in order to find our quotient using partial quotients. So to begin the partial quotients method, we consider the entire dividend, and we need to determine a certain number of 29s that we know for sure are in 2,465. Looking at our largest product, because 1,450 equals 50 times 29, and 1,450 is less than 2,465, this tells us there's at least 50 29s in 2,465. So 50 will be our first partial quotient. So we'll record a 50 here on the right. Now we'll multiply by the divisor, 50 times 29, equals 1,450, and now we subtract. By subtracting, we just removed 50 29s from our dividend of 2,465, but we still have 1,015. And now we repeat the process. We need to determine a certain number of 29s that we know for sure are in 1,015. So looking at our products, because 580 is less than 1,015, and 580 is equal to 20 times 29, we know there's at least 20 29s in 1,015. So we'll use 20 as the next partial quotient. 20 times 29 equals 580, and we subtract. By subtracting, we're removing 20 29s from 1,015. Subtracting, we have a 5 in the 1's place value. Here we need to perform an exchange. So 11 minus 8 is 3, and 9 minus 5 is 4. So the difference is 435. Repeating the process, we need to determine a certain number of 29's that are in 435. Well, because 10 times 9, well, because 290 is less than 435, and 290 is equal to 10 times 29. We know there's at least 10 29s in 435. Let's use 10 as our next partial quotient. So 10 times 29 is 290. We subtract. And now we have 145. We need to determine a certain number of 29s that we know for sure are in 145. But looking at our products, notice 5 times 29 equals 145, and therefore we know there's 5 29s in 145. So the next partial quotient will be 5. 
again, 5 times 29 is 145, and we subtract. Notice here we have a difference of 0, which means the remainder is 0, and therefore 29 divides evenly into 2,465. To find our quotient, we sum the partial quotients. So 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 5 equals 85. So our quotient is 85. This is one way to use the method of partial quotients to find a quotient. The nice thing about the method of partial quotients is that we can use any partial quotients we want in order to find this quotient, and the result would be the same. I hope you found this helpful.